So I'm Kurt Krager. I am a professor of management and I'm also the chair of the management department. One of the things I've studied for about 30 years is the science of workplace instruction. So how do we learn in the workplace and then more specifically what can organizations do to facilitate that learning. In most of the work that I've done over the, the past decades, I've tried to really kind of focus on translating basic research by, say, cognitive psychologists, and then try to understand what does that mean for kind of the applied experience of delivering a training program. So it's understanding, again, how do we learn, and then what are the implications if I'm a trainer or I'm an instructional designer to take that information and design a more impactful training program. So uh, in 2021, a good friend and, and co-writer of mine, Kevin Ford, and I published a paper called The Science of Workplace Instruction. That's a term that's never been used before, and it was kind of our effort to combine what organizational scientists understand about facilitating learning and what cognitive scientists study in terms of how we learn, what's happening in our brains as we're learning. In that, we make, I think, kind of three really important assertions. One is that what's most important is the quality of learning, not the modality of learning. So right now, there's this big discussion of, you know, is face-to-face -face training better? Is online training better? The answer is good training is better. So it matters less the format that you put it in and more just making sure that you're designing effective training. So the second point is, what's effective training? And that is the incorporation of what we call instructional principles. So the paper has a whole list of instructional principles that when these are in your training program, whether you're training knowledge, skills, attitudes, it, the more of these learning principles that you incorporate, the stronger the training, the more facilitation of learning that you're doing. Yeah, the third big takeaway is that, again, we're talking about instruction, which is broader than training. So we're not just talking about the best ways to design training programs, but I could be a trainer, I can be a supervisor helping my subordinate, I can be a mentor, I can be a teacher in the classroom, I can even be a parent. When I understand the importance of these instructional principles, I'm going to be able to explain things and help the people who I interact with one-on-one uh, -on -one learn better. Work, work is hard and work changes and we don't always do a good job of hiring and even when we do a good job of hiring again the nature of the job changes and so we really need effective training systems to really make sure that our workforce is skilled and capable of doing the handling the changing demands that, that they face. Changing lives in my mind is helping people develop. You know, as I wouldn't be at the University of Memphis if I wasn't committed to helping people grow and develop. And so understanding the translation from, in, from models of learning to instructional principles to having impact on people around us is, is essential.